All right, uh, moving right along, right? Uh, so our next feature that we want to add is the ability to um, to look up a, a, a place or an address, right? Again, we said that this that this right here was called geocoding, right? So again, this is the type of thing you you know you, you type in the White House, right? Or you type in you know an address, like so. Here's here's Rose Holman's address. Or actually, even typing in Rose Holman, uh, it's going to find it. Um, and if you give it a zoom level, uh, then then it will go to that location, right? So we're going to move our camera. So we already know how to how to move the camera. Uh, we just need to get the latitude and longitude coordinates from um, from this address or place name. That's the geocoding part. All right. So before we go into geocoder, let's let's see where we're going to be putting this in. Uh, so right now, um, I want it to happen when I when I click that that little uh, that little menu item up here. All right. So the little picture of the map. All right. So clicking on that uh, right now as it stands, is it launches a dialog uh, with this information. When I click OK, then I want to go to the to that location. So I am going to follow that. So this right here is in the options item selected. All right. So we see that that if we choose that option, then we go to place name or address, which is down below the other dialog. Uh, here's our code to bring up the dialog, and you'll see that we're getting a place name um, uh, from them or an address, and then the the zoom level is going to be a, a toggle, and I've actually chosen it so it's either 17 or or, or seven, um, sort of a, a get close or go for, further away. Uh, and then that is going to take those and it's going to call this go to place method, right? So given a location and a zoom level, um, then we want to go there, right? Uh, wow. So we know that we're going to be doing something with with setting the um, or moving the camera, you know. And we could even we could even think about that here. So so move camera, and as we real realized from before, we had this camera update factory dot and we wanted a new latitude longitude uh, and zoom so the question is we need uh, we need our location okay whatever whatever that's going to be uh, and we need um, you know so some location we need a zoom well location and we already have a zoom level right so the question is how do we get that location so let's go back to to our our stuff right here. So so we said it was a geocoder. So if you if you do a quick Google search for geocoder, um, it's going to pop up this this um, this class right here, and we can see what what geocoders um, do. And there's a little bit if you want to know more about it. Uh, it turns out that this class is actually good for um, for geocoding and reverse geocoding, right? So um, it also goes the other direction. So given latitude and longitude, then you can actually give a list of it, of addresses. So it's kind of neat. Um, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to do this this nice little get from location name, and there's a couple of them. So this first one right here gives us uh, you can you can specify a bounding box, which you know if if you wanted to get a location and it was ambiguous, but you knew you wanted something close to you, then maybe you put a little box around your current location. Um, I'm not worried about that. Uh, not worried about the logic right now, but I do really like this one right here. Get from location name. Give it a location name, and you tell it how many of them you want. Technically, there could be more than one hit, uh, and if we were being really careful, maybe we'd present the user with with all of them. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna pretend we're lucky here and hope that, that we get the right one. So this returns a, a list of addresses. So this is part of the geocoder class. So it looks like I'm gonna have to make a geocoder. So let's go ahead and do that. So geocoder. And I'll make my own geocoder. Is a new geocoder, and let's see. So it takes a context. So we'll pass in this. Uh, then technically, um, you know, we want to make sure that that service is is here. So there's a static method for this. So geocoder um, is present. Okay. If it's present, we're going to go ahead and, and and do some some things here, right? If not, well, there's nothing to do, right? Uh, all right, so we knew that our that our our main function here was going to be this get from location name, and we're going to call that on our geocoder object. Okay, you see that's one of the options here. So a location name, well that's great. I mean, look, we chose names wisely here. So I called it location name, and that's that's what it takes. Um, and then we need a maximum number of results, and we'll say we're going to be lucky. We're going to get one. Okay, uh, this right here I can throw an exception. So let's first of all, oops. Uh, you'll see that it, it throws in a legal argument exception. 
if you pass a null, um, or an IO exception if the network is unavailable. So we should do something uh, with, with those exceptions. Um, and it's, well, we have to do something. Uh, so the, the IO exception is, is a checked exception. So we need to take care of that. So let's go ahead and, and uh, we'll catch it now. And we'll just put up um, for now, uh, probably a toast is the right way to go. Um, so, uh, and again, this is, let's see, so we can say this and um, what's this? So, so uh, network connection to geocoder uh, uh, not working. And then we'll have it show something like that. Okay. Uh, and I'm not going to worry so much about the stack trace for myself. Um, good. Uh, let's see if they pass in an empty one. So let's see. Uh, let's let's catch everything else. And like I say, I believe that this that it said that it was going to be what was it? It was it was actually an illegal argument exception if it was null. So illegal argument exception. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, whoops, too much. Uh, and we'll say right here, um, new place entered. Okay, so this guy, this get from a location name, uh, returns as we see here a list of, of address objects. So first of all, let's let's go ahead and save that off. So list of address, and you'll see it's Android dot location um, address. You notice there there are a whole bunch of them. So so grab the right one there, um, and this is addresses plural is is correct. Okay. And what we want is we want the first one. So let's let's go ahead and grab that out of here. So address, address, uh, oops, addresses dot get zero. Uh, and we'll save that off into a single address, okay, like that. Um, I'm also going to handle the case where um, where we didn't um, where we actually uh, have enough. Uh, you know, it's it's possible that there's no address uh, found, so we'll say that if addresses uh, dot size is zero, okay, uh, then we don't certainly don't want to get it go any further. Um, uh, so if if there's nothing there, then we can just say uh, uh, place not found. Okay. And we should return out of this method so that we don't, uh, otherwise we'll get an index out of bounds right here. Okay, so we've got ourselves an address. Uh, what do we want to do with it? So what, what do addresses let us do? Um, so a quick search for, for address. Um, we'll see, let's see, I guess looking at the source code is, is some people enjoy it, others maybe not so much. We can certainly look at the documentation and there's a link in the, in the, in the code along if, you, if you'd rather do that. Um, we got, so thoroughfares and premises and postal codes and all sorts of crazy stuff here. Ah, here we go. So get latitude, set latitude, um, get longitude, set longitude. So uh, lots of stuff here that is going to be, um, that's going to be helpful to us. All right. Um, so what we wanted to do way down here, let's see, and that's probably not the place to do it. So let's go ahead and move that up into into here, fix my typo. All right, um, we saw that that we wanted to um, we wanted to this guy over right here needs to be uh, a lat launch, right? So that's that's what we're gonna do. So we'll make a, a lat lat launch from here called location uh, is a new lat launch. So the constructor for this guy takes a latitude and a longitude, and we saw what we needed there. So address dot get latitude and address dot get longitude like so uh, so let's see just reviewing our code here 
So we may uh, we make a, a geocoder. If it's present, then we go on. If it's not, we don't even we don't even do anything. It's present. We're gonna we're gonna get the 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 location name. If anything exceptional happens, we just we just display a toast and 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 nothing else. Um, and likewise, if if the address uh, if we, if we don't find anything here, then um, we we say it's not found and we also bail. Uh, if it survives all this and so no exceptions and we actually have a size that's that's uh, that's not zero, then we go ahead and get the top hit. All right, again, we're we're um, we're sort of ignoring any others that that it might have brought up. Uh, and then we're going to convert from that address. We're going to pull out uh, its coordinates and then we're going to move our camera to that location, uh, like so. All right, uh, so I've I've got this guy running in the background, so I I have it here. And let's try it out. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click on this guy. Um, oops, I guess I did a, a long press. I should just do a short press. And it says enter an address, right? And it has a little hint here. Uh, but we can really put in whatever we want. So um, I don't know, where, where do we want to go? Do we want to go to, I don't know, Seattle? All right, so let's go here and let's do a zoom in. Um, we'll actually start off by zooming out. Okay. And there we are, um, zoomed out, and this is our um, our zoom level, right? So zoomed out. So if it's checked, and that was the and let's see if I remember here. So it was the if it's checked, it's zoomed in. So so uh, check zoomed in. So so zoom out is is seven. Um, that's sort of a region. Seventeen is the zoom in here. So I will rerun it uh, on Seattle. Uh, let's do it again. Oops, it would help if I could spell. And I'll do a zoom in this time using my toggle button. Click OK. And now we're talking, uh, well, there's the library, right? So, so we're right in the Skyview Observatory, all, all sorts of fun stuff. Okay. Uh, Geocoding, very, very exciting. Um, you know, it's 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 really neat to provide that that uh, capability to our users. Uh, if I were going to take this further, I think what I'll what I'll probably end up doing for myself, my personal use, is uh, once I get that location and I zoom there, I'm going to place a marker there, um, and then I'm I'm going to um, auto populate with the information that I search for. So if I search for Seattle, then it's going to create a marker called Seattle. If I'm looking for it, I probably care about it. Uh, I'd probably then. Uh, put in the the, the functionality uh, that if I were to to press on the on the uh, on the marker, I'd have the ability to delete a marker as well because maybe I could you know if, if I auto created it maybe I, I didn't really want it right. Uh, but that's it for this lesson. Uh, so hopefully you'll learn some some good things about about um, geocoding. Uh, the reverse geocoding example is is also is also reasonable. It's a, it's a bit more difficult, um, not not horribly so. Uh, but I'll leave that to you for your for your own work if that's something that you're interested in in an app that you're writing. All right, talk to you later.